Why is it not a wasted vote though? Because just imagine, okay, just imagine, like one of the best things that can happen in the United States, right? And in Canada is nobody goes and votes, right? Nobody goes and votes. So all of a sudden, whatever a few thousand people that go or tens of thousands that go and vote, when the government, they get elected, they can't turn around and say we have a mandate because the majority of the population didn't vote, right? For example, in Australia, voting is mandatory for one understand. And in Australia, I think on the ballot, they have a none of the above option. I don't know if they do or not, but you could spoil your ballot. I think every election should have none of the above in it, right? And then people go vote. If none of the above gets majority of the votes, right? Let's say gets 36% of the votes while all the other parties, none of the other parties gets more than 36%. So none of the above, none of the above gets most of the votes, right? And wins, then the government is dissolved. The government can't do shit, can't do anything. And then you go through another round of, uh, what do you call it? Election process, and then you vote again, right? And let's see what the people uh, want to happen. And let's see if any of the politicians decide to do the bidding of the people, right? This whole first past the post garbage and, you know, there is no option to go none of the above, right? And then if you don't show up, it means you didn't care. What is that bullshit? No, G give, me, give, me, give me more options. Give me more options. Uh, none of the above. None of the above right even jill stein is not ideal right she came out and put out a letter saying oh yeah you know uh, bad countries like russia and iran compared them to zionist israel and you know, united states and i don't know whoever else even that's idiotic even that's idiotic right 